Hey everybody, Todd here, and I hope you're having a great week. You know, today we use a variety of digital and analog formats to transfer signal between our gear. So let's talk about how to make that all work with a multi-format converter like this 32-channel unit from Ferrofish. Now today, even many entry-level audio interfaces have multi-format capability. You see analog as well as ADAT digital expansion, and that's great if you want to add a few more microphone preamps or you need some I.O. for analog gear, but when you run into a situation where you need more channel count, that can become a limiting factor. Now the solution can be an audio interface with built-in multi-format capability like this Orion 32 Plus, or you can go to a multi-format purpose-built converter like this A32 from Ferrofish. You see a lot of connections on the back here. This will handle a lot of different formats as well. Now connectivity is not a new thing in audio. It's been around since we've had analog gear. Whether it's XLR, TRS, or TS connectors, balanced or unbalanced signal paths, we could have impedance issues, signal level considerations, those have all been there. And in digital, we have many of the same things. We still have different types of connectors. We also have similar connectors that don't speak the same language. We have sample rate considerations, channel counts, bandwidth. So there's a lot of things to consider. Multi-format conversion is there to help us make sense of all of that. Now there are a variety of multi-format converters available today with different options. I'm using the Ferrofish A32 today to help go through the connections and possibilities. And so when we take a look at the back of the unit, we're gonna see the usual assortment of analog connections, in this case, 32 channels of input and output by D sub connector. And that's just to more efficiently help out with the density of channels. We could never put enough TRS or XLR connectors in a 1U rack unit. Then you'll see we have four sets of ADAT connectors. So that allows us to have up to 32 channels of ADAT. But of course we know that as we increase the sample rate, it's gonna reduce the channel capacity in that format. You'll also see here MIDI connections and a USB. Now the USB on this converter is not an audio interface for a computer. It's just to allow you to control the functions. You can do everything on the, on the face of the unit with the hardware controls, but it does have a software utility. And beside that, you'll see a MADI connection. It's a type of digital connection that allows for high channel counts. And it comes in both optical and in a coax MADI on this unit. We have word clock in and out. And of course, we also have Dante, another type of network digital audio. You'll also see redundant power supplies available. This is pro level gear, so you're gonna get features like that. And so if we were gonna configure a pro level multi-channel digital analog audio system, we could start with a converter like this A32 and run a Dante connection over to an interface card in our computer. In this case, it's a focus rate 192 by 192. So far more channels than we would ever need in a home studio environment, but it's nice to be able to move multiple channels of audio over one single ethernet connection. So whether you gotta run 16 or 32 connections, one ethernet is a whole lot less than a bunch of analog cables. Now, if we have MADI connections, we could go ahead and connect up from the A32 converter to this Motu 64. That'll give us options for MADI as well as for AVB. And you'll see I have an, an RME multi-channel preamp below, and that'll connect up over AVB or MADI. So we can bridge from one device to another or do direct connections. Then of course, we still have ADAT connectivity. So I have an eight channel preamp here from Audient. We could easily bring that in and we could actually use a total of four of them for up to 32 preamps coming in over ADAT. And finally, we have analog connectivity for all that analog outboard gear, microphones maybe on other preamps that are connected by analog, and of course our monitoring solutions. So a lot of options here. And you might say, well, Todd, that's great. We can connect everything up to this, but how do we keep track of so many channels? Now the good news is, is that converters like this have the ability to route audio between the various types of formats that are connected, whether it be with a graphical interface on the computer or through the controls on the front panel. Now every type of converter will have its own routing or routing matrix, but I made up sort of a generic one here to give you an idea of how this works. And I based the inputs and outputs off of the A32. And you'll see what I've done is I've organized the inputs across the top in the columns and I have the outputs along the side here as rows. And so I have my analog channels one through eight, nine through 16, et cetera, my ADAT channels, my MADI channels, and my Dante channels. And of course, available in the outputs the same way. So if I decide that I want my analog inputs one through eight to go over Dante one through eight as outputs, 
all I need to do is go ahead and select that area. I'll just put an X here so that we have something showing that that's connected. So again, here I have my inputs analog one through eight going to my Dante. Now, if I decided that I wanted to take my ADAT and have that all run out over MADI, I can do the same thing. I can go ADAT one through eight and I'll find MADI one through eight and I'll put a mark in that box. And the same thing would apply if I want nine through 16 routed out over MADI, I would do this, 17 through 24 and 25 through 32. And so that gives us all our ADAT being routed out over MADI. The same thing would apply with Dante if we had say a, a unit in another room where we wanna bring analog audio over Dante. And so what I would do is I'd find my Dante inputs and I'd route them to analog. So I could have Dante one to eight coming out of my analog one to eight. And I could do the same again for the other banks of channels. And you can mix and match them however you want. So it's really a full routing or routing matrix. You can send anything to anything. It truly is multi-format conversion. And the same thing applies if you're using a high channel count audio interface with multi-format capability. There's generally some type of routing matrix available that allows you to make sense of all those connections. I'm gonna have a few more videos on this subject in the coming weeks as I integrate that into my studio. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed. And this was not meant to be an exhaustive discussion of all digital and analog formats that we use in the studio, but I hope it gives you a chance to think about the options you have. And next time you're looking at an upgrade to your audio interface, even if you don't need a very large channel count, Think about the types of digital and analog connectivity that's available before you make your choice. And as always, if you're looking for other ideas on how to upgrade the gear in your studio, check out one of the videos on the screen. I really appreciate you joining me today. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.